Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight it's uh, After Dark. Yay! And during After Dark, we play some games we've played before, usually for high scores mm -hmm. or to complete the games. Mm -hmm. But this time it is for um, the Atari Homebrew High Score Contest. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's been renamed from what it was before. I can't remember what it was before. <laughs> Um, Harmony, 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 Harmony Games, Harmony Co something, contest? Harmony Contest, yes, uh, run by Dan. <laughs> um, so the games tonight, and they're based on the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. Um, so he usually takes the winners mm -hmm. or maybe second place if the winners aren't suitable for a, for a high score contest. Harmony Games. Harmony there Games. There we go. Yes, there we go. Um, and tonight we're going to be playing Elevator Agent. Nice. And Game of the Bear, too much to bear. Yay. Game of the Bear, too much to bear. Which are work in progress, port and original games. Nice. Uh, winners. Hi. Um, Hi. In uh, last year's um, uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. And we've got cats, too. <laughs> they're, they're, um, they're very excited. It's been a little while since, well, I guess you did a show on Friday. But, we did, yes. But uh, they're, they're very excited when the show's Oh, are. they always get excited. For some reason, it's the Homebrew Games. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, uh, supporters of the show, scrolling down beside oh, Atari so there. Yeah. Um, Al Nefer, Arkham, Archimage, Arms Guard, Coder, Atari, 800 XL Rules, Atari, 1974, Atari, H.B.R. Polkot, Charles, Donny Mal, Charles and Jack, Charles Wheel and Chitlila, Colonel Lamo, Colonel Lama, Cuban is Mode, Danny Danny VC, Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Drifting Snow, Dr. Mookows, uh, Gamma Dev, Great Defender, Gretam Zorja Rapper, uh, Every Tower Collection, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Croco 2600, Gavaltiver, Lambda Express, Lardy to Dead, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike the Tau, Mr. Zarn, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic 26, Pack Rat, VG, Koag, Orange Wits, RMNC, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG. Hey, hey render, render go! I think I just you said just your name. Said his name. <laughs> Thank you for raiding and yes. bringing three people with Yay. you. Yay! Uh, Repentless Fiji, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Spice, where S Ramirez, is teleprompter, the Welsh Man 89, Tiki Dante, Titfos, VVG Double Down, X Can X. And if you want to support the show, get your name on the list mm -hmm. and avoid ads as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's free with Amazon Prime or not free without Amazon Prime. Um, and you can subscribe just like uh, Charles Whelan did just before the show. Excellent. Thank you, and, Charles. Uh, join him on the list. Yes. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. Very good time. Nostalgic, Dan, yum, Chelsea yum, Yoni, <laughs> Metal Lunar, all and the people who said hi, Cubanismo. Charles Whelan not only subscribed, he has uh, redeemed treat time. Yay! For the treat time. So let's get down some treats for those cats. They are very let's excited. Do it. Let's do it. One for you, one for you. Switch to the cat cam. Oh my goodness, that was fast. We are. Oh, one each, eh? Okay, one, one. And while they're doing that, I will set up the cartridges because I did not. Oh, he ran out the door. Atari, yep. come back. That's no good. Throw that over there. He is. You have to wait for he come, comes in. Calm Ugh. the cats down before the game. Yes. True. That is a very good time. Thank you for uh, gifting a subscription. Atari 800 XL Rules gifted it to nope. Urban nope. Monkey. No, nope. Ring the bell. I'm closing the door. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're 3 now 1. You cannot escape. <sighs> We're 3 1. There we go. Elevator action. Good That's kitty. Better. 3 2. Three. Game of the bear. Oh, four, two. Game of the bear. Five, two. Sprite. There we okay, we're all set up for those now. Uh, five, two. Yeah. Just heard a ring. That was that was him. Five, three. Uh, uh, six, six two. two. Come on, Atari. Oh. Hit it. No. Okay, I'll give oh. that to you. Six, three. He's so far behind. So weak. <gasps> Seven, Seven, three. three. Ring the bell. Oh, eight three. Hit it. Hit it, Atari. Hit the bell. Come on, harder. You're not Hit even it. doing it. it. Oh, he's pressing it so softly, it's not ringing. <laughs> Nine, Nine three. three. What a devastating. There, there we go. go. Nine four. See, rendered ghost is showing you how to do it. He says, ring that bell, and, and it's over. Four. Ten, four. 
little uh, consolation, consolation prize treats for the Atari. <laughs> he gets fix, them. fix. Yeah, fix, exactly. The fix is in. Yeah, yeah I think somebody. <laughs> Poor little guy. I think Atari was throwing the throwing the game there. That yeah. was a very sad effort, Atari. Aww. Very, very. He sad was just. Effort. He was. He was going. Tap, He's so gentle. Tap. He's such a gentle kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing a, a Champ Games shirt. Nice. In honor of the elevator action we're playing tonight. Nice. We're not playing Galagon, but. Um, well. We are playing a new-ish camp games game. Still work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's get to the mail. Okay, which I've been holding mail. off on for quite a while. He so doesn't want to break the it. bell. Oh. Yeah, he just hits it. Sometimes he stares me in the face and tries to hit the bell at the same time. It's like, look at where the bell is. You're not hitting the bell. That's right. You're missing it. No. Can open the door for him. For you want out? Too toasty in here. Let's see what this is. I know what this is, and I wasn't sure uh, anyway, whether confidence? it would be suitable or not. Ready Player Two, made in pixel heaven. Uh, kickstand instructions. Well, I think I can figure out a kickstand. Mm. Um, oh, that. So, let's set up it on a kickstand, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Now, I kind of got a little impatient waiting for the other person who made all of these other things. Wow. And I ordered if, uh, something from somebody else. <gasps> what? No. Because <laughs> um, it looked pretty good. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work. We'll see if it's big enough. Okay. Um, oh. The right way up. Wrong way. Nope. There nice. There we go. Lynx. Nice. So when that we play Lynx nice. games. No, that's too tiny. That's okay. We can still make it work. I think it's a fridge Mag no, it's oh. just 3D. Oh, there might be magnets embedded on either oh, side. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I don't have any metal here. Well, we'll figure some. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Ah, so. Packrat VG, I've got that. It's nice. It You've got the nice. same one? It yeah, I got nice. this Yeah, it does have magnets. Etsy. Um, but I really do want a bigger one for here. Yeah. That's um, for when we play Lynx games on yeah. the show. But uh, mm. this I'll have to do for now. Uh, and then we'll put it on the fridge after. There we go. Uh, when well, I get a bigger one. So. Yep. No, it's, that's not too bad. Um, I did preliminarily open this one up because I didn't know what it was. But random, didn't random, reveal it. Uh, oh, it's also kind of for the links as well. Because <laughs> um, I did buy an on off switch for it. For the links? Uh, for the links. Um, mm -hmm. But this, but it doesn't have a. Okay, this is actually an extension. So I can um, turn it off and on. Because the one I have is way too close to okay. the links, and it's kind of awkward. So this one I'll just um, extend it out. This is just a US, USB, uh, normal USB uh, extender. So that's what that is for. And I got two of them, just in case. They can be used for anything. Anything's powered by USB, you can turn it off and on. Mm. Little switch. Uh, that aside, because it's falling out all over the place. Uh, next thing, I also open this up too. It was part of the same package. And they are plastic containers. A whole bunch of plastic containers. Um, but I saw somebody on a Vectrex uh, Facebook page okay. somewhere um, showing these off. Okay. And providing a link to where he could get them. And I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Now, what they are is they fit... A, lit, um, a Vectrex cartridge perfectly oh. so that you can put them in and it won't damage them. So let's do that right now with Spidex because it doesn't come with a, a container. A container, And I have a number of, of uh, Vectrex, Vectrex games, games that just are by themselves. Very nice. Put them in. Very nice. There we go. Very nice and sealed. Very nice good. Nice and sealed. Should, should the basement flood, <laughs> all your Vectrex games oh will be okay. Yeah. They'll just be floating on the surface of the water. Uh, don't talk about <laughs> sorry. flooding. <laughs> Basements flooding. Sorry, oh sorry. Yeah, that's a stressful stressful thought there. Let's up our insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so we can buy it all again. Plastico Fantastico. Cool, yes. yes. Uh, now this one... I think I know what this is. Let's see what this mm. is. Somehow I yeah. Damaged my knuckle there. Oh, bleeding? Yep. Oh, a little no. bit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the price you pay. <laughs> For opening packages. For opening packages. <laughs> now, oh. 
This is a homebrew game for the channel F. Oh. Um, it That's... is called the Arla Soft Collection. Are there many Channel F homebrew games out there in the world? No. No, there I are wouldn't think so. Very few. <laughs> and even less on cartridge. Oh, Sprite so, is very excited. Are you excited about the Channel F? Apparently, he's a Channel F fan. Who knew? So let's take a look at this. Go to the cat cam. Hmm. Very nice packaging. Yes. Uh, it's put out by E. E Frog, E5 Frog. Wow, that's lovely. Very nice. So this is a collection of games. Uh, it has Centipede, 2048, Threes, and Tents and Trees. I don't know what Tents and Trees are. Um, it says you can't put up your tent. You can't put your tent up anywhere. Obey the rules. Uh, or you'll be lost in the woods forever. And Centipede is Centipede. Uh, 2048 is obviously 2048. Uh, threes. There's three modes, three ways to satisfy your need for matching up blocks of colors. Keep them coming. Um, so I will have to mod my channel F for composite output at some mm. point. And there are some... Yeah, so I can hook it up and we can play mm -hmm. some Channel F homebrew because I have a number of Channel F homebrew games. Oh, now you do? Okay. On cartridge. Oh, okay. And I have a Channel F multi cart as well. Oh, okay. So I can load other homebrew games on that. Um, it is the, um, if people don't know, Channel F is the first cartridge based console mm. where you could put in a cartridge and it'll be a new game. Okay. Um, there were cartridge oh. consoles but that just triggered the games inside the console. Yeah. So it was just like a selector card. But Channel F was the first one to have external games on cartridge. And you'd buy it and put yeah. it in. Yeah. Neat. Channel F night sometime. Nice. Definitely. Um, I'll have to order a board and populate the board. Um, the per same person who put out this, mm. um, I think, made the board as well. A composite board. Oh, okay. Um, or at least they were populating and selling it for a bit. Uh, I'll see if they are still offering that. That was about a year ago, and mm. I didn't notice that. Um, but I could, I could do it myself. Probably, I'd have to get it go, get it printed up. Uh, so that's really exciting. One uh, more. One more box. I do know what this is. Cubanismus has never seen a Channel F in action. That'd be cool. Yes, mm -hmm. would be cool because I don't think many people have it modded, and even less people have it modded and stream it. <laughs> could you? Could this be the first Channel F live stream? Mm. Uh, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> there are, our our uh, whole community is very niche. Yes. So pretty much anything I do is almost the first time ever, which is kind of cool. That is cool. They do have funky controllers. Mm. Yeah. Just before. Controllers were kind of like settled on what they did. Package looks like a Minecraft torch. <laughs> Which one? The one I'm opening? <laughs> a torch? They're probably only seeing bits and pieces of the package. So oh. It's oh, kind of maybe. Hidden. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes. Ooh. I'm this always so impressed with the packaging people is come up with. On Escape for the Atari 8 bit. Nice. Um, from Vortator Games, and it is sealed. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much to Pseudo Graphics for sending this to me and the rest of the On Escape team, development team. So we're gonna open this up right now. And uh, hmm, see if I can open it up without destroying anything. Find a little corner. Are you typing? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Just a pop up. Ah. Pop ups are evil. No. Notification there pop up. The cat is rummaging. So, I'm not sure what he's rummaging, but he's God. right around all of our um, all those files. So I'm yeah. just going to tell people he's doing our taxes right now. He is doing. He's just over that there. That was a pretty good adventure. Rummaging. Nice to see there's a physical release. Yeah, it's mm. definitely worthy of a physical release. It's Very nice. Beautiful graphics. Fun, funny game. Uh, we did do a stream. I don't think it was uh, me. Completing it. Was it? Yeah. On escape. I'm pretty sure. We, is that the it was one? With you. Um, Oh, with the point and click adventure. Yep, the point and click one. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. So let's actually open this rest of this up. 
on the cat cam so you guys can see it. So here's the front of the box. Very nice. Very beautiful cover. Mm -hmm. RC Sony says, I think I missed that stream. Oh, I I'd check forgotten it out the name, the but uh, yeah, that was it's a it's a really really fun game. Point and click adventure game. Yeah. Remember now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I I, I I recognize the screens. Kitten, how's how are the taxes going over there? there you go. Hardware requirements. Atari 800 series system, 48k of RAM, joystick, stereo recommended. Oh, I don't have stereo. You want to have stereo, but I don't, so it does support stereo. Pokey, I'm guessing. There we go. Very nice. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Is this a map? Is this Ooh, a poster? Oh, it looks like a poster. Oh, it is a poster. Escape. Is it a double-sided poster? It looks like it's double-sided. Oh, okay. PVG Double Down says you need more flat space. <laughs> yes. It's uh, every flat surface is taken up with something. In yeah. It. So on escape and the map of the game. Or some of it. Yep. Some of, no, all of it. The whole map of the game. Bit, uh, bit of spoilers there. <laughs> so don't use that unless you've already played it uh, or you're stuck. Uh, comes with a soundtrack of the music in the game, which is amazing music. There you go. Very nice. The complete soundtrack was composed in 2022 on real hardware using SOCMC modified by David Spilka in 1999. Uh, Cover art assembled from in-game graphics by Pseudographics. Next thing is a sticker. Ooh. I think it's a sticker. Yeah. I think that's not going to be too close. <laughs> Very nice. And the manual for the game. Oh, it has some uh, early sketches of the rooms. Nice. Lots of little bonus features in here. Really great. Hmm. And the cartridge itself. Very, very beautiful. I love the smoky gray black. Oh, that's a lovely. Case, I it? love clear cases. Oh, it's kind of. It is clear. Kind of blue. A bluey gray. Smoky blue. Yeah. It's just hard in the dark to see that. Yeah. It is. In the after dark. Very nice. That is lovely. So I'm just gonna quickly pop it in. To show yeah. that it works. I have a I have a thing for clear plastic oh, cases. Oh yeah, gorgeous! I had one of those phones where all the components were rainbow colored and you could see see inside it. I love stuff like that where you can see through it. It's an awesome phone. Red cord, two pieces, actual analog phone. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> phone, the clear phones oh. where you can see the the internal components. I love anything oh, in yeah, clear plastic. I. I just love that. Okay. It's great, great, great. I think we're good. Let's see. Nice. Oh, that was not in the uh, mm -hmm. version we played. Stereo weird room. One escape, no, on escape. <laughs> so thank you to the whole team 
for sending this over to me. Mm -hmm. um, it was so much fun playing it when we did, uh, getting through it. Um, did need a couple hints during playing because yeah. we missed a big <laughs> area that we couldn't figure out. It was like moss or something. Couldn't, can't remember. We and were we very clear, close. Very close to figuring and out. And it's all, I always find that's the case for those types of games where you're like just slightly missing something, right? That's yeah. a therapist, yes. Clear plastic Game Boy Color, yes. There was, I believe. Clear uh, plastic yeah. Game Boy Color, yeah. And uh, a line of N64 clear plastic ones as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The N64, those are on the list, but I don't think yeah, we ever the managed smoky, to get one. The smoky gray? Smoky gray one. Yeah, yeah. hard to find. And expensive now. Yeah, I did yeah. find one, but uh, at the, some convention? Is it PRG or V? I think PRG. PRG, but it was just a bit too expensive. Yeah. And there's something wrong with it, too. It was cracked in one place. Or it was missing controllers or something. So, yeah, know. something. Yeah. Yeah, very well done package. Really gorgeous. Um, so, thank you so much uh, for sending this over. Looks like it worked. <laughs> it is not the game we're here to play tonight. <laughs> no, it is not. But it's cool. Booting it up. Ooh, VR Pocock has a transparent teal one. Oh, very that nice. That is also really nice. I really like the teal blue color as well. Okay, so let's put that aside. And get on with the news. news. I know it's an after dark show, wow. but I can't <laughs> I can't delay because I don't know when the next show is, so Yeah. Still, um, still working. <laughs> oh, and speaking of News! Yeah. That game. Bring you can there. order one as well. Um here I'll post the link so you can get more information on it. Um physical release of on escape. Um so there's the box, there's the cartridge, there's the whole package. Uh, oh, two, two sides of it. So you get a full color printed sleeve type box. Sleeve type box. Uh, game cartridge translucent black. Is it black? It really looks like. No, no, I, I, I see it as gray. Gray, bluish. Gray, but gray can, can go on the blue or the green side, yeah. right? So. Uh, with color label, uh, black piece, PCB with gold plated connector, for mm -hmm. full 12 page manual, a game history guide, A3 format, two sided poster with game map on one side and hand drawn pixel art on the other side, six rounded rectangular, oh, there's six of them, uh, stickers. <laughs> I guess they're all packed together. Yep. Um, so there was a soundtrack edition, which is the one I have. Mm. Um, looks no like more? it's sold out as uh... of last week. Unfortunately, so just standard edition. But you can still download the music the itself. Music off Bandcamp, I think. Um, but the standard edition is uh, four dollars cheaper. Yeah. Uh, and that is still available. Sign up for uh, order on this thread and only here. So there we go. Uh, that one time at Bandcamp. I wonder if they named it after that. <laughs> I wonder when that was uh, registered. The Bandcamp. Probably. That's pretty old boot film. Um, so there you go. If you want a copy for yourself, it's a really amazing point and click game. Um, so next one is uh, this really cool video and piece of hardware that was posted by uh, Kev Kelly. And it's an Atari, Atari 2600 drum machine. So I'm what? So he oh. has made this box. Uh, with trigger buttons. Oh, cool! But it plugs into, um, I believe, the joystick port on the 2600. Okay. But what you do, and it has a game as well, or not a game, an but, associated uh, game, associated kind of program. Program, yeah. Um, but it's got quarter inch inputs on the front of it, and those plug into real world drum machine nice. outputs. Like, so can, yeah, like the so drum pads. You drum mean. pads. Yes, yeah. Um, so you can use it with your existing drum machine yeah. and it'll <laughs> yeah. make drum sounds on your Atari 2600. Wow. Which is super, super cool. Wow. And it's got adjustments for sensitivity there. That is so cool. I think he's still kind of playing around with it and you can see mm. which ones you triggered on the screen on the 2600. So, 
and it sounds every time. Or you could use the fire buttons. So here you hear. So it's got alternate fire buttons. Uh, let's see if he shows the screen a little bit. Uh, I hit the foot pedal. There we go. And you can hear it's kind of triggering the blue one. There you go. You can uh, so as he hits it, it triggers the on-screen animation so cool. and also makes the sound on the twenty six hundred. Very nice. Uh, RC seventy says he has a Beat Step Pro. Wonder if that would work. Um, so he's got a thread on it. Um, normally, I hang out at the Atari Basic and program it for him to try to make games. But this has been a side project of mm -hmm. mine. I present the Atari Drum Machine controller and sample program. Basically, this is a controller that can plug in, into either foot pedals. Piezo triggers or drum pads features five buttons, four of which also correspond to a quarter inch jack and dial for sensitivity. Uh, place your drum brain cartridge. <laughs> uh, I've not tested on modern things. Plug in the drum controller into a uh, controller port, as I thought. Um, you can attach drum controller to preferred drum kit setup using one of the four quarter inch jacks. So if your drum machine does have quarter inch jack outputs mm. then you can hook it up um, because he has a sensitivity controller uh, there's also a fifth quarter inch jack reserved for a foot pedal mm. it's designed so programs can be made for allowance for hands-free operation during play like if it sounds needs to be changed kits customization very very cool mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and i can see him adapting it for a game um, Guitar hero. Have, yeah, drum hero. <laughs> drum hero. Atari 2600 drum hero. Nice. <laughs> Something like that, right? That would be fun. Uh, so there he's posted some photos of it with the five triggers. Uh, one out the back, I guess, mm. and four in the front. That is so cool. Yes, very, very cool. Mm. Uh, and there's lots of discussion. So if you have something that uh, there are mini jacks, but there's some converters. Wonder if the voltages are what they need to be. I've never used CV stuff. Yeah, don't know that much about it. So I I would definitely suggest posting uh, in the yeah. uh, forum for any more information. That is about so that. cool. Super cool. Yeah. Also ran across this. This is posted <laughs> everywhere, mm -hmm. all over the internet. Of course, this is the RM800 XL possibly the ultimate modern Atari 8-bit system. Uh, it is made with... Um, uh, I, it's a little bit sketchy right now of okay. what's actually going Powering on. It. <laughs> um, but it is FPGA mm -hmm. and RISC um, powered with proce those processors in there. So it's upgradable if it's not perfect at the moment but the big thing is it has modern outputs and mm. modern inputs so besides oh. uh, the joystick controller the ports the original nine pin ports, yeah uh there's also usb oh. input so you can use modern controllers it looks like there's usb c up there too uh usb c for power mm. uh, uh usb uh, a for uh, storage yes i know and hdmi out but not only that, it has a working cartridge port, oh, working neat. SIO port, what? and uh, working um, hard drive, uh, disk drive port as well. Uh, it does not say anything about the keyboard, which led some people to believe you it would have work. to supply your own oh. keyboard and then plug it onto their board. Yeah. Because... But this, this keyboard looks a little bit different than my 800XL. Mm. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, this is a 3D mock-up for sure. Mm. But there's no price. There's no information about the keyboard. So some people are like, I is it real? Is it just kind of a joke that somebody made? Um, yes? The cat cam has frozen. It's frozen oh. on your arm. Yes, because I turned something off. Just, just letting you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it does, unfortunately, because it like zaps it mm. and then it, then it freaks out. I just noticed that. I'm like, how can your arm be here and there at the same time? It's impossible. Mm. There now we go. there's some kitties. There's the cats. The RM800 XL will be available to everyone very soon, which is okay. also kind of like, how could they keep this an absolute secret? till the very soon 
yeah. from the whole community. <sighs> but you can. Yeah. Uh, they do have an email address, so there that's you go. Uh, that's interesting. Um, it looks really cool. If it's real, there's no video of it. These really do look like renders. Um, but the keyboard is a little bit different than the actual 800 oh. XL keyboard. Like, are those renders? I can't click on it. Mm. Really, really nice renders if they are. Um, and this does not look 3D printed, like this case. Mm. So, uh, are they, some people are like, well, it costs a lot to do mold injection. Yeah. Like tens of thousands of dollars. Mm. So it's pretty, pretty risky spending all that money, mm -hmm. but it, I think it probably could do. Has the company done other revival machines? I, I don't, I couldn't find anything about revive machines at yeah. all either. And people were like going down to this and looking this up going on the map, doing some, of course. doing some slew thing. And yeah. they weren't, really weren't able to find much about this company. Yeah. So really nobody knows who this is at the moment, mm -hmm. but it's Still, a cool idea. It is a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, so on to what we're doing today, a Atari homebrew high score contest, Yay. Uh, which was uh, started not too long ago with the first round. Second round is already in progress, but he extended the first round to the 19th in two days it ends. Okay. So you still have some time to beat our scores if we do well <laughs> tonight. Uh, the first round is work in progress <laughs> original, work in progress ports, uh, port, uh, game of the bear too much to bear, and elevator agent, which we're playing tonight. And then best original above 4K and a best original 4K and below. So Ooze the mm -hmm. Goose Slime Quest and Raptor are next. So mm. we'll be playing those in a little bit. Excellent. Not tonight. And then port, best port above 4K and best port 4K and below. Uh, Load Runner and Invaders from Andromeda. Yes. I don't know how he's going to do... Yeah, there's score in Load Runner. Okay. Yeah, there that's, is. That's going to be a slog. Yeah. It's a long game. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what the rules are for that when it's posted. Oh, here we go. Uh, March 13th to April 19th. So this goes on for two more days. And then I uh, have another uh, two and a half weeks mm -hmm. till the next um, next portion, part mm -hmm. two, ends. So we'll do another day like this. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, first up, we're going to be playing Elevator Agent. Yay. Yay! So let's switch over to that and start going. So uh, if any of you want to play along at home yes. and try and put in your high scores, now is the time. Yeah. Um, I believe you can run it in <laughs> emulator or real Works uh, both ways. console. So still, uh, go for it. Dan ABC. At the ready. <laughs> uh, nice. Excellent. Well, so you can uh, start writing down people's scores. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Let me switch over to that. I want to grab that joystick for yourself. Well, if the cat will let me have it. Oh, they're not mean. They won't bat at you. <laughs> the black kitten's uh, protecting... Uh, Protecting the joysticks. Yeah, he's got the other one behind him. Nope. Oh, press button. There you go. Excellent. Are there any constraints on this game? Is it just high score? Uh, well, let me read out what um, the rules are for this. Okay. Okay. Uh, elevator agent uh, will be using the current release, which I have loaded. It's the January 1st release that it's that's at the Champ Games download page. Play on the standard setting, arcade. Uh, difficulty setting doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Well, isn't that the difficulty setting? Nope. Let's go left and right for difficulty setting, I believe. Press button to get to there. There we go. Left and right. Uh, so standard. Uh, go to the right again. Advanced. Advanced. Not a okay, standard. so standard. But it also says difficulty setting doesn't matter. That is the difficulty setting. Very strange. Um, is there any sound? Oh, no. Let's switch it back. Ah, 
that. Oop. There you go. Oh, I mean, dead already. Oh, I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> Hundred points. Um. Oh, the difficulty settings on the on the console. That's what he's referring to. Not the difficulty settings. In the game. So left A startup animation only plays when entering the building. Startup animation plays when entering each new building. We have it on uh, B, so it's every every building. Not that it matters to anything. Uh, right is disable the in-game music or enable the in-game. So game loops back to level one after completing level four. Scores up to level four can be submitted. So mm -hmm. once you're finished level four, that's it. That's your score because oh. it just loops around. Um, scoring goes as following, uh, nine points for first place and one point for 10th place and after. So, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, and it ends on 419. So there is no rules beyond that. You just play and get a score. Um, now, John Champo, the uh, developer of the game. Oh, did you drop that or did you shoot him? I think you dropped it on him. Which is more points. Oh, good jump. Oh, no, you're going way up. You're not controlling the elevator because you're not in it. You're just on oh, it. Oh, you can go down. You can, you can crouch on yes. the upper level. But not in the elevator because it uh, makes you go up and down. I guess you have to just jump and time it. So 1,400 points for no, 10. No, 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 no. Do not count that. <laughs> you Can't you just stay in the same one building and farm points? Move your glass over here. Um, yes, and I did mention that last show or a couple shows before, is you can just farm points on yeah. one level. So, and there is no rule because it's hard to make a rule about farming points. Oh, you shoot me too? Yes, he did. Oh, that was on a difficulty delivery to us what? for some reason. They will try again, maybe with a more competent person. <laughs> okay, uh, 100 points for shooting an enemy, plus 50 points if you shoot an enemy in the dark, um, either on floor 15 through 11 or after shooting out a light. Ah. 150 points for drop kicking an enemy. Yeah, I have to figure out the drop kicking. Uh, so I think it's just jumping while you're next to them. Plus 50 points for drop kicking an enemy in the dark. 300 points for shooting a light and hitting an enemy with a falling light, which is difficult to do. 300 points for squishing an enemy with an elevator. So be above them. Well, maybe you can squish them at the top too. You might be able to. 500 points for collecting the secret documents, entering the red doors. Uh, 1,000 to 4,000 points for clearing a level. So you do get more points by shooting in the dark. So it's good to just keep it dark at all times. Because they're very visible, the enemies. Their hats show up. Their hats glow blue. The game seems tough enough that farming would still be challenging. It. Yeah. And then press it. Uh, bonus life awarded every 10,000 points. So you get the biggest points for finishing a level. The next biggest points for getting the documents, which you do want to do. Um, and the most points for either squishing an enemy or for dropping a light on an enemy. So those are the biggest places to get points. Dan says, you need to learn to duck. That helps you get points. Um, they can duck as well. I don't know how long it takes them to duck. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You can't jump from there. I guess you can move up really quickly, though. You can. You can move up almost immediately. The scores, uh, the scoreboard right now has two scores, um, 35, 250 for La Tom and 39, 100 for Charles Wheeler. Hmm. Oh, I got you from behind. Hey. 
too many guys walked on that around level. me, yeah. dark is you can't see the doors yeah, for, where they, for when they, until they come out. No, when they come out of the door. That's the only time you see where the doors are. He had a little briefcase for a little bit. A little folder. Swish. That's where the points are. Oh, oh, you shot me just as I came up. Oh, no. I think I'm dead. Ah! 4350 right. for Tanya. I'm there. <laughs> so, standard. Okay. Just amazing. It the whole good. animation. Yep. against the rules and what do you do so what I'm gonna do is stand right here and you'll find out what I'll be doing in a second they're going to gather up there. Yeah. I don't know if this is the best, absolute best place to do it because they, maybe if I stay down here, they might. Oh, they, they might not. Oh, no. Because there might be an upper limit to how many. Trust Wheeling. Crushing them is the best part of the game. <laughs> it is. They have so little time to defend themselves. Nostalgi Nostalgic is saying challenge mode is squish only run, so no squish shooting. Squish only. Squishing only. That would be challenging. That because would be a good one, actually. They're, they're going to be coming out above me, and so what I usually do is clear them out. No, don't go up there. Oh my God, they're oh good, they're coming up. Nope, no, go up there. They just collect where the red doors are? Um, I don't think they're doing that. I think they're just like, oh, you're on a different level. I'm going to come up to meet you on that level. Yeah. I'll go down. Oh, actually, what I'll do is. You just wait yeah, until they kind of. I'll just shoot them. This is not perfect because there's ways for them to, to hide away from me. Oh, well, let's get this briefcase. Come down here. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
How go. dare he take your elevator? Five hundred points. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go down this way. There's no way. I can't shoot the lights when we're going down the escalator. Escalator. Okay, let's see if this squishing is better. Oh, this one might be better actually. Might be a better place for squishing guys. There's nowhere for them to go. Squish. And I noticed that when you're squishing somebody, the elevator doesn't quite go down far enough that they can shoot their leg. Yeah. Oh, oh what? he jumped ya. Oh, I could have squished him at the top. Okay, okay, that, that helps. Sneaky. I don't know if that's a very good spot. I can get any points. thought you had a good spot before since two enemies were trapped behind a wall. I guess you just farm them one, one by one in that case, because up to four, up to four can come out at once. I've seen four. I don't know if I've seen five. Two at once. Oh, how many points? Oh, oh that's a problem. They jump down. Damn it. They jump down. They do. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll do that. Same attack. They're adapting. Oh, he does. Yep. Ah. I think I'd just have to shoot them before they get. Elevator he and he I... tried to jump and I think he fell. I've seen him do that before. Jump down the, the elevator shaft. <laughs> they just give up. Like, yeah. this life is not for me. Yeah. I'm not succeeding in my secret agent world, so, yeah. or my spy, spy land. <laughs> so much shame. I mean, they do walk no. d directly underneath the elevators as they're coming down. So they're not the smartest guys. <laughs> Very true. They walk into elevator shafts. Yeah. Play differently. The Mission Impossible elevator scene traumatized me when it came out. The game is invoking those feelings again. Nostalgia 26. I know what you mean, RC70. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No! Oh, I got an extra life. So I made it to 10,000. Okay, this is too boring. Well, get the red door. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem with farming points. It's just tedious. It's not the most exciting gameplay to watch on uh, Twitch. <laughs> no, it's not, so let's play properly. Unfortunately. Let's still farm a little. Yeah, I'll, I'll farm when the opportunity comes up, but... Uh... Elevator, no, you went away. He fell down. For, Silly. for no good reason. Just no good reason randomly at all. jumping around. Oh god, there's a big thing. Oh, actually no, someone else jumped down the shaft. One, two. There we go. Good job. Oh. Now we can go in. Oh god. Five hundred points is, is quite good. That's yes. a very quick I love how shooting them in the calf. <laughs> death. Instant death. Yep. I mean I guess the calves do bleed. Completely a lot, vulnerable. But <laughs> he just knows the exact right spot to Please heal. Please heal. I mean it wouldn't feel good. Uh no. I, you would I go down. Uh, you would go down. You just you I guess down. you just have to pretend that he follows up on uh, Hi. On the hit. Oh, cute kitten. He's very cute and fluffy. Yeah, he's very cute. Your game's coming up soon. Game of the bear. Yeah, you're a little fluffy bear. He is a bear. Um, I considered calling him bear. So he was really brown when we first got him. He had a lot of brown. Like his fur was kind of black on the edge of brown. He really did look like a little grizzly bear. So we, I, I was talking about... Um, did I miss any? Talking about um, Atari, Atari's asthma last uh, oh, episode and okay. going to the vet. Yeah. So we took him to the vet. Yeah. And um, you just have to be very vigilant with his uh, as with his medication. <gasps> four thousand points. How many? One to four thousand. It said. Fifteen four. One. Maybe because it's how much time I take. You did. I, I think it does. I think it is impacted Ooh. by time. And uh, so we've been pretty good about it. He's had less, less um, asthma attacks so far. We have to give it to him twice a day now instead of yep. uh, the once that we were doing it. Before, yeah. Poor little guy. Oh, I thought oh, you were about to squish yourself. Oh, jumped up. I and we're we're gonna be like vacuuming the house at least once a week now. Yeah, just to make sure. Not dust. But the, the vet place. thinks they might be seasonal allergies because they've gotten worse. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be tough. Which to is kind of out. interesting. Oh, we got you oh, in the ankle! Oh, come on! Uh, no, it's an inhaler, like a human inhaler, but it goes yeah. into um, the AeroCat, <laughs> which <laughs> is this clear tube and it has a little muzzle thing, and you basically. Um, Spray the inhaler into the arrow cat and put it up against his face, and then he breathes it. There's a little little thing that shows Ooh, that he's breathing in, so you, he has to take eight, eight breaths. I think they're, it's for kids, uh, you know, but branded for cats. No, well, I don't know who it's originally for. This one is for, for cats. babies. Well, I'm sure it's something similar for a baby. It goes over their whole mouth but it, but it is, and nose. It is designed for a cat, like it is oh, yeah, called yeah. the arrow cat. Um, uh, Atari has a asthma. He developed it in the last couple of years. Yeah. And, uh... He's allergic to this guy. Yeah, that's what we keep saying. No, he had it before. This guy. Yeah. Are you allergic to your brother, Atari? He's allergic to his brother. Yes. What all, what all, um, siblings say about their, their, their other siblings. Yes. I'm allergic. Get out of Ta my room. <laughs> I'm stinky. Get on top. Uh, then I can't control it. Yeah. And it doesn't go all the way down. Sure. What he gets to control? Oh, it's probably at the bottom down. Uh, this situation. Because they do 
kind of turn around. Yeah, yep. They can shoot you instantly. Very dangerous situation going down the elevator into a lane. Oh, there's a guy. 19-4. Okay, another little bit and I get an extra life. Yeah. You could uh, do a little bit of farming if you wanted to. Yeah. Somewhere if you could find a good job. Oh. Oh, God. oh boy. Yeah, they will jump on you. Oh, there he goes. Smush, 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 smush. Come on. Pop up. Oh, oh, come on. That was crafty. Very crafty. Maybe he's allergic to Darcy. Maybe. I'll have to track no. the uh, asthma attacks and Darcy. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, Squish that was a lot once. of points. Yep. Very oh, nice. got extra life. Excellent. Always good to have one extra. You do want an extra life. Or is that two two extra lives? Uh no, no, no. Uh, right. oh I see what you mean. Two extra rates one, one you already one have. In reserve. One in reserve. Elevator of death! <laughs> yep. I feel like that should be the name of like a metal album. Elevator of death. Elevator, elevator to death. hell. High sure. highway to hell and the elevator of death. Oh. Smush, 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 other than, you know, pointing it in the direction of your floor, but you can't make it keep going if it yeah. wants to stop, so. Uh, some elevators in some modes, if you hold down the um, floor button, oh, it will yeah. go directly to that floor. Like if you're on the oh, fourth floor. Oh, it won't stop to pick up anyone. It won't stop to pick up anyone. Uh, uh, it won't do it in the order. It will change directions. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone gets to where they need to right away. I mean, it's not the most efficient way to, uh, people can be lining up, right? But, um, uh, it's, it's only in certain modes, though. Like, if the key is yeah. in a certain spot. But I assume that's, you know, if you worked at, say, a hospital and you were transporting someone, you don't want to stop. You want to go get to where you're going. So. I think it's in, like, the moving setting as Yes, well. in the moving setting, yeah. It's like, people can't noise. call it. Yeah. yeah. Tactics. Damn it. Lost a life. Vulnerable. <gasps> no! What? <coughs> Made what? her cough. Nowhere near high score. 26.050. Oh, well, that's not bad. Is it me? I, this won't last long. Uh, I think I'm just going to play normally. Normally? And see what happens, because the farming's so slow. It is slow. But I will shoot out lights. Because that does increase. And before that, he shot my hair. My hair! I'm guessing my head goes right to the top of the hair. You know, it has some 20 bits there. Shoot out the lights. Get 50 extra points. What? What? Didn't even see it. That happened last time, too. Yeah. It doesn't like me. This game doesn't like me. Maybe his shots blended in with yours because they're on the exact no! same level. No, he didn't shoot at all. <laughs> out of the way. Just shoot move. Whoa. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm, I'm not very to, good at it. Trying to get him to jump down the elevator. Well, shot. I just want him to go somewhere, because if he's stuck there, I can't get past him. Uh. Oh my god, when did he get on top of the oh, elevator? Ah! Levels with lives. Yeah, if there's no lives, and you see L equals one, I can see why that... Oh, I thought Which, that was lives. Oh, no, it's a little, little it's, icon. It's the level. Now, will they always shoot above when you're standing and only shoot down when you're ducking? I think they do shoot down, but you can also jump over the ball. 
there's always a way to evade the bullets if you can see them. you after a while. It's it's not bad, but John did put something in it so that you can turn off the music. <laughs> so, he does realize the music does get to people. Blocked a bullet with the elevator floor? Oh, I didn't see that. Move. Oh, squish him. Squish him. Not really. Well, I'm just gonna get it. Oh, so so risky. No! Oh, I should no. jump. Oh. Well, you can't jump risky. while you're on the elevator. Yeah, I understand. Well, you could jump off the elevator. That's true. You could go up to, into the left or right. Can you? Yeah, you can jump off the elevator. You can also jump down the elevator. Ah! Uh, you have to be so careful there. Yep. Oh, oh well. 3650. You get points. You get points for being on the scoreboard. Oh. You get points for playing. I'm not. I'm not as good as you with controlling the elevator, but uh, I have a more, a better sense now of how the game plays. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Just go for it. Just keep going. Yeah. Down the levels. Yeah. And shoot out the lights and. You know, oh, shoot. oh, kitten. Is so short. It's very short. I tried to cut his paws and he did not let me do it. Paws. His paws. <laughs> no. Cut off his paws. No, I was cutting his paws. <laughs> Because they're filled with murder daggers. Murder daggers. Well, you don't say we cut our fingers. We cut our fingernails. I know. <laughs> I cut his paws. Yeah. Oh. Cut his paws. Don't cut those paws. Oh, no. Don't cut your paws. Reduce the yeah. well, both need death their... rate of the murder, murder daggers. Yeah. They both need their claws cut. Yeah. They don't put up with it. No, they don't like it. They don't like to get their, their claws being held. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Red door. Watch out for the elevator, though. It's gonna squish me. Fluffy, fluffy. Yeah, they look, they look like little, little black marshmallows, but no, they're not. No. Do not be deceived. Quite dangerous. Oh, jumping off, trying to kick me in the head. Oh, they went up. oh they're not controlling Oh, God. No, 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 no. Sometimes they do come out and they kind of come off in they chunks. Do. Yeah. But um So if it's just the outer edge of it and there's no blood or any weird things and it's transparent, yeah, then it's, it's fine. Bad, it's a very but... it's quite normal for them to shed their um, their upper layer of Oh it. bloody but not too bad. Oh, oh poor buddy. Oh boy. Yeah, if they're That's sharp, not they're a gonna good time. get them cat caught in things, even if they're not sharp. No, no, no. Get on this elevator. There oh, you go. Yeah. Far away enough from yeah. them, it's not too bad. We'll have to get that. Don't, don't, don't go, don't go. Oh. Get the red door first. What? No! How come I can't go across? There you go. Oh, it's because it's lined. The ones with the lines, you can't go through. You can't go through them. Because yeah. they're like. Oh, in between. In between two elevators? When it's clear, you can go across. 
when it's got the lines you can't. Um, that was the only way to really represent it on the 2600 because oh, I on see. the arcade it has a um, it has a, a rope. One of our ladies left a thorn-like claw in Zephyr's thumb while he was trying to give her eye drops. Ah. There's your problem right there. <laughs> Giving cats eye drops. Trying to give a cat eye drops. They're not oh, agreeable in that no. in that way. I always think of that um, Friends episode where um, Rachel Rachel had to get eye drops and everyone had to hold her down, <laughs> and she was turning her head like this, like like an animal. It was so funny. No, no, and they were like holding her down and putting eye drops in her eye. Oh. Uh, yeah, cats and eye drops. Cats and pills, too. Ugh. Yeah, poor kids. Oh, what? Just disappeared. Did I actually kill him? So, 5,950. I didn't take too long. Let's see if it's time based. One! Not very time based. I think it's randomized. Like Kramer and the pills. Oh, was there one with Kramer, too, where they held him down? Of course They not. did that with Acted Rachel as like well. A dog. It's probably yeah. in lots of sitcoms. I think there was one with Rachel where they held her down and gave her eye drops, too. Yeah. I can imagine having to do that to you. You don't like <laughs> things drops? in your eyes, uh, either. Yeah. I Yeah, I can do eye drops. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can do eye drops. I don't like them too much. But you just tilt your head back and they just go into your eyes yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's true. So it's not so bad as you don't have to drop them directly on your eyes. Yeah, there's a reason why Flintstones vitamins exist for kids. <laughs> that's right. It's like make it easy. Just hard. Make it as easy as possible. Oh, RC70, I do contacts every day. I can put anything in my eye now. I try. James contacts. can't do it. I, 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 I wear contacts too, not that often, but I do I do wear them. I wore them a lot when I was younger. Um, yeah, I tried to get contacts. I sat there for probably an hour poking my eyes, trying to get the contacts in because they wouldn't sell them to me unless I could put them in properly, which makes sense. Yeah. For me, too. Why would I buy contacts that if I can never, ever put them in? Yeah. And they gave up on them. Well, I gave up on me. Well, the optometrist um, basically said, we can't no. sell those to you. We can't sell those to you. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's they gave okay. me practice ones that don't, didn't have any prescription. So just practice putting them in. Yeah. You know, if you're not used to it, it is it is hard. But putting just, contacts in is hard. I'm like, ah, I'm poking my eye. Yeah. That's all it felt like is I'm poking. But you, you are. But, but you, you wanted to get them, but you couldn't watch me putting in my contacts. Let alone put them like, in Like, he goes, oh, I can't see that. I'm like, I can't. I can't imagine you putting them in yourself, so. No, it was torturous. Yeah. Like, I think I got them in twice, but I couldn't adjust them to the right spot. Yeah. And then it was like. My father wore hard contact lenses almost his entire life. Um, and he wore hard, like, they were like oh. little, they looked like, like, I'm sure they were plastic, but they were like shards of glass. They were solid. Right. And he liked them, and he was so used to them. He shot me too, and I didn't He see wore the them until they no longer manufactured them anymore. Because... Wow. And he's like, he, he's like, I would go to my, his, his optometrist and they'd be like, well, you have like calluses under your eyelids. Like he was just oh. so used to wearing them. Like not actual calluses, but yeah. a person now, like no one would choose hard contact lenses. No. Um, like I, what is, what is, they last longer, right? Well, yeah. And I think they were the first like iteration of, of contacts was, was the hard ones. Right. So he but had them fact, for a very long time. The fact that they still make them means that No, they somebody... don't anymore. Oh, not at all. He wore them until they stopped making them. So nobody makes so, hard contacts. So I had soft contacts, but he continued to wear hard contacts, like, long after the permeable ones came along. And to the, it was to the point where the contacts he had had flecks of paint on them because he, he repainted a room. <laughs> And he got a little bit of paint on the surface of them, and of course you couldn't see them because of right. you know your focal so distances. Yeah. Um, that if you look closely, you could see the little white flecks of paint oh in his God. contacts because he couldn't get them replaced. And eventually, he got a new type that was sort of like half between a hard and a soft. Okay, so a harder plastic. Yeah. Um, 
RC-70. It takes a bit, and getting them out is a thousand times more intense the first time, yeah. Um, I actually lost a contact up in my eyelid. I probably shouldn't talk about this. This is going to trigger some people. Uh, and I didn't find it until a week later. It a didn't week. come back out. Could be worse. I, I, I felt it go back, and then I couldn't find it, and then I just assumed, oh, it must have fallen out. And then a very dry contact lens suddenly slipped out of my eye like one morning. Slipped out. And and it was like up in the back of like the folds of the eye for a week. And people lose lose contacts in their eye. Already barfing. Already barfing. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They have um, multiples in their eyes. I mean, sometimes. I suppose if it's there long enough, it could get in, cause an infection or something. But. Of course not. Um, I think the people who got those high scores were definitely farming. They were definitely farming points. Because I am not getting... It was heading for the brain. Happened to me too. I know, it's it's because the soft ones kind of fold up onto themselves. And anyway, it, it kind of told me like those contacts they say you can wear like to sleep. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> that sounds like a really good way to lose a contact in your eye, so... Nictating membrane. I don't know what that's in reference to. Oh, anyway, kind of like I got it back. Um, <laughs> I doubled up once. Had them in an hour before I figured it. Oh out. God! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, it's all of a sudden blurry yeah, when I put my contacts so in. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I don't wear them that much anymore. I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite a bit more comfortable with my glasses. glasses you know. I mean, sometimes um, you wear. Them. Sometimes. I still have like some one, you know, temporary one day use. But a big part of that was because I work in a lab, I would work with microscopes. And I actually found my eyes much more comfortable with glasses. Um, and you can either take them up and adjust the microscope or stare down them. Whereas I found contacts, my eyes get, would get really dry if I was looking down a microscope for a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something. Anyway, oh. contact lenses, good times. <laughs> good times. Good times. Meow. 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 Are you a bad cat? I'm just a cat. Are you shame you on the internet? I'm in inherently bad. <laughs> I can't help it. I know you hate this. He does like cuddles, not forced cuddles. He doesn't like forced cuddles. I can understand. Meh. Cat troubles. Cat troubles is correct. Okay, 19,000. <laughs> the episode of ZPH sponsored by Bosch and Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Talking uh, about. We'd have to wear the contacts for that. <laughs> yep, not wearing any. Not today. I may try some again at some other point. We'll see. Let's try and put poke my eyes out again. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, if you really, you could always get laser surgery. Uh, it's very common. That is Freaks a you out more. nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard how it works, and it's the worst thing imaginable. Oh, my God. Because you have to be awake for it. If they put me to sleep, no totally problem. Fine. Totally no fine. No problem. But they can't <laughs> put you to sleep. Like, it's, it's a procedure like a... Uh, like working on your brain, they, you're not allowed. You can't be put to sleep. Oh yeah, because they, they have to want make to know sure you still have brain function. <laughs> I know they're poking the right things. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why you have to be awake for the, the eye surgery. Um. Because well, it's... it's better to not be asleep if you don't have to be, because you can't feel anything. I should look that up. Um, because but your realistically, there's a risk with every anesthetic, so. Your eyes have to stop getting worse, don't they? With the laser? Is it version? Um I mean stop getting worse. I think yeah. I think when there's certain points in your life where your eyes do change a fair amount and um, when you're very young, you probably wouldn't do it. <gasps> oh no. Good night, nostalgic! Good night, nostalgic! Writer goes, I've thought about doing the contacts now as an adult, but I feel weird when I look at myself without glasses. I've had them since I was two. <laughs> oh, wow. wow, that's a long time. That would be quite It's a just a detachable part of me, yeah. What? He hopped on that elevator all by himself. He did not like that. Did he? Yeah. 
Yeah. Jumped onto it, eh? Like, I swear, he jumped onto mm -hmm. the, the elevator. RC70 says I had LASIK, but it didn't last forever. It isn't oh, bad. No. The procedure is less scary than putting in contacts for the first time. <laughs> what? No, yeah. it's not. Oh, why are there so many people there? There's three of them bunched up. Ah! Ah! Got one. Ah! No, there's more coming! Oh, there we go. Oh, it's red doors all the way across again. I had it around 22, maybe. It was back in glasses around 35. Yeah, I... I... Oh. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't want to get it if I have to get it again. Oh my goodness. Watch out, you're gonna get smooshed. No, I won't. No, I won't. Run! <laughs> Run for me. It is. Oh! No. Well, then there's always my grandmother late in life, like in her 80s, um, no, 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 in a no, no, weird no. way, um... Why are you shooting? Oh, because I've run out of bullets. There we go. You only get three bullets. bullets. You only get three bullets oh, at, a at a time. Um, I'm sure it's... Now I'm not sure if, if it's extra risky to do a second procedure. Who knows? I don't know. I'm sure they, somebody will know. I, it, it affects your night vision sometimes, doesn't it? I'm not sure. Um, I know that's potential side effect. I don't know if that's still the case, though. I'm sure it's not as bad as it was before about the night vision. Yeah. Um. Uh, 100% <coughs> affects night vision, yeah. Mm. Um. Well, when I had it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. My grandmother's vision restored itself when she was in her 80s. Um, I'm not joking. She it's had glasses her entire life, and her because your eyeballs change as you age. I'm sure she she still needed reading glasses. Four thousand, come on. But she stopped needing distance vision glasses I don't know what I got. as yeah. she got older. Wow. And the joke was, her doctor said, "Hey, uh, if this had, if this was olden times, you would be burned at the stake as a witch. Oh yeah. <laughs> if your vision suddenly returned. Oh yeah. And like that is so funny. Okay, but, I got uh, a farm point yeah. now because yeah. 3,000 that level. 3,000. See, I'm not close enough. You have 3,000 though? That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good but I, I need to get 40,000 to, to be on. Oh, to get yeah. to number one. Yeah. So we're gonna have to find a good farming spot here. Somewhere at bottom. <gasps> ah! Oh, no. I just caught it. Star. Oh no! Yeah, that's what scares me a little bit about the music. Yeah. Come on. I hate it when they bunch up. Really punchy. Okay, let's ride this down to the bottom. Let's see. <gasps> Damn it! No, uh, is I'm that on my the last, last one, one, or you're on your last one. Now I'm on my last one. No. 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 Such a long elevator. It doesn't go all the way to the top, though, does it? Really? Oh, I thought it just went up a few and then came back down. No, unless like, somebody gets on it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get on it. Don't get on it. The exact height is where they feel like jumping off yeah, into okay. the abyss. <gasps> oh, oh no! what? Oh no. 3450. Mm. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. I think You're we need too? to move on to Game of the Bear. Yes. So. Um, I know my score's not uh, fantastic, but I definitely want a game of the Barrett. So you do have to farm it to get the points. I think you're right. That are on the board right now. So let's move on to game number two. Game of the Bear, too much to bear. Uh, okay, let's change over the cartridge if you want to load up the game. Change over. Yep. Oh, the cart... I, I thought you said the oh, cartridge. I was changing over the cartridge. Oh, I see. Sorry. sorry. That you, we had a cartridge. And this by VHZC. And 
let me make sure this is in sync by deactivating and starting the capture card again. Look at that bear, so cute. Do you want me to go first? Do you want to go first? You can go first. I'll go first. I, I have to run it for a quick second. Okay. Maybe another beer. Maybe. Maybe another beer. Maybe another beer. Okay. That's a dead end. Wasting time. So, this game, you get points, or you retain points by being fast. And so, the less time you take going through it, the more points you get at the end, and that's what counts towards your score. So you really do want to go as fast as possible, but also not killing yourself. There's lots of deadly things. All over the place. Actually, don't need to do that till later. That one's fine. Gotta push that button to get that drill up. That's fine. And you have to traverse everything multiple times. <laughs> as is tradition in VHZC games. That's what makes them so awesome because he's able to use the vertical real estate. And then we make a bomb, and we drop the bomb, and we go through. Oh, I wonder if anything's up there. No, I can't jump through there. Wasting time! pupils. You have big pupils, RC-70. He was the first patient, so he got the good doctor at the office. <laughs> good. I highly suggest the good doctor. <laughs> the good doctor is good. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've seen... I don't remember this one. No? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Crazy. So did I... Did, 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 am I supposed to go back now? I think I am. I don't, I don't remember this. My goodness. James is good at, good at these games. <laughs> at uh, platformers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that, like is, that is your I thing. I like them. I know. Platformers and shooters. Oh my gosh, it's really fast. Does it seem faster than before? No. Hmm. It's probably it? because I'm going very fast through it. Hopefully that was the right thing and I'm not wasting time going back through this. Wasting I haven't played time. this in a long time. Wasting time. James is just moving faster. Yeah. God damn it. So cute. I love the bear. <laughs> Super cute. Yeah, which it seems graphics are so awesome. Um, then I go to the left, and it should be off. It is off. Oh, good. I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Where am I? Hopefully. <laughs> Someone is asking about if people know about CRTs. What um, is happening, Cat? I don't know. He, he's, he's, he's climbing into our um, storage space right now. Depends on what your CRT question is. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> they exist, yes. Yes. Uh, we haven't used one in quite a while. Oh my god, I remember this. 
I don't remember this at all. Have I played much of this game? Obviously, Maybe I didn't not. get very far because I don't remember these pattern levels. You're going to have to tell me what to do when I get to them. Oh. <sighs> this is a nightmare. RC70 says, I don't remember this level either. Oh my god, it does it twice. Okay, the thing about this game is you get zero points unless you finish it. Okay, let's power through it again. Oh, you get zero points unless you finish it? Oh. Because there's no points, you just die. Did we play this as a work in progress? Is oh, that yeah, why I don't know a lot of these levels? Possibly. Oh. Uh, wasted time there. So, Madame Masquerain, my TV has three formats. I know what two of them are, but I don't know what the other one is. AV, CVHS, and CVI. And they said, I know AV is audiovisual and CVHS is for Super VHS. Oh, and I don't know VHS. what CVI is. Super VHS? I don't know. Uh, that's that's like a, a tape format, not a television format. Mm. Read them out again? Slowly, one at a time. AV. Yeah, auto, uh, AV input. Sounds yeah. like it, yeah. Oh, composite video input says VVG. Okay, yeah. That okay, that sense. would make sense. So they're AV, CVHS, and CVI. Composite video input. That would make sense. Cat. What are you doing back there? Man! Here? Come back! <laughs> Like, no, I'm having too much fun. Come here. Come here. Come here. Maybe, maybe if you're really good. Somebody will give you treats. Come here. Come here. Come on, stream. Come on, stream. <laughs> Come on, the stream. Come on. It's treat time. Yum. Oh, yum, yum, yum. someone's getting treats. Who's getting some treats? At least one cat. Oh, I hear some. I hear a cat running. Yep. Close that door. There we go. <laughs> Make okay. it fair. All right. Thank you, Chalcedony Meow. Or Meow, as we like to say. <laughs> Chalcedony Meow. All right, all right. Atari really wants his treats this time. Okay, there you go. That's one for Atari. Who's one. next? One, one. Who's next? Oh. Ding ding! It only counts as one, you know. Yes. <laughs> two for Atari. Uh, two for a sprite. Two for oh, Atari. Yeah, there again. Three for sprite. Oh, he caught in the air. Wow. <laughs> He's been practicing doing that. I've seen Three him. Three for Atari? Woo, they're even. Don't run away with it. Oh, four for Sprite. Damn it. That was stupid. Didn't wait. Smack it harder. Smack it harder. Smack it. Smack it. Oh, no. Smack it harder. Hit that bell! Hit it! Oh, there you go. 4-4. Four, four. He hit it. Oh, he did? Oh, 5-4. Yeah. Well, he got extra. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to go that way. Oh, 6-4. Oh, Atari. Oh, you're sticking to the, to the, to the carpet. <laughs> oh, 6-5. Think about that. <laughs> Seven six. Eight six. Only oh, caught in the six. air. Doing pretty good. Eight seven. Ding ding. Oh. Service. Nine seven. I'm throwing this further away. 
give Atari a fighting chance. Hit it. Nine, eight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got it. It's game point. Atari, hit the bell. Hit the bell, Atari. You can do it. Hit the bell. Oh, harder. Harder. Hit it harder. Hit it harder. All right, nine, nine. So scared. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? It's head to head. Who's gonna win? No, neither of you hit the bell. Oh, Atari won. Atari won. Dead. Ten. What? Atari won. Yay. Good job, Atari. All right. All right. Sprite, you wow. get the extra treat this time around. <laughs> Atari's still trying to hit my hand as I drag it away. <laughs> He's like, I'm on it. Atari wins fatality! Woohoo! Good job! Good job! Great cat! Oh, I can't remember what I do. There's two paths now. Excellent! Was that was a good round. Atari sneaks in by paw! <laughs> oh, I was distracted! The undercat wins. Oh, that's awesome. Follow it. Yep. Ah. I've not played this. Multiple I really paths. haven't. I I'm, I'm uh. not gonna do very well because I'm not gonna know the patterns. Oh, that's rough. Typical VHZC. <laughs> yep. Mazy levels with dodging the obstacles. Dodging all the obstacles. Yeah. Everyone's excited for Atari winning. He, Damn he, it! It's not too common. He gets he gets the, the gets win. to ten first. He gets the win. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Very know what's up uncommon. with Sprite. Beautiful graphics. They're always beautiful. Yeah. Not doing well. Dying too many times. Okay. What I forget. The undercat. He is the undercat. <laughs> this pushes the bombs over. I push the bombs over. And then you launch yourself into the bombs? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, you push the bombs the wrong way. Oh, okay. Maybe. Reset. There you go. <laughs> that would make sense. Then I prime it. Yeah. Then I push the bomb this way. Yes. And then you go boom. Very nice. Great graphics on that explosion. Very nice. The key, Ooh, a magic key. Which is way back, unless this is a shortcut, which it is. Mm. I think. Yep. Um, I go this way. You got all your treats already. I go this way. Are you yeah. upset you lost? Or do I go on the Are you upset you lost? No, no, no. You had you had all your treats. He's a monster. <laughs> Created a monster. He is a monster. Move. Move to hit that. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, okay. <laughs> what just happened? Nothing. Extra man. Got an extra man. Oh, good. I need it. Okay, this one's safe. I'm gonna go up there. And wait. Boom, boom. Okay, got it. Up there. Wait. Wait. <gasps> Damn it! Oof. Terrible. This is really interesting, this one. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Patterns. Oh. Now I have to go back, unlock. There we go. I think 
we're getting pretty close to the end. I think this might be it. <gasps> so go that way. Arrows. Is there a boss? I can't remember. Yeah! Oh my god. Instant. Oh my oh, god. No. That was well, the wait, end. wait, that was the end. You have to do it again. Immediately? Are you going to play? Are, 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 are you sore? Because I can play, no, no, but no. I'm not going to make it as far. No, nope. I can do it. No, no, I want to see you get to the okay. end. Uh, targets the asthma hand again. Yeah. I I will admit with the with the two of them I do throw it a little further for Sprite because he he'll gobble it in one gulp and come right back really quickly. So yeah. so I do like That's to give Atari a little bit of a handicap, but not too much of one. He was on his game this round though. He really yeah. wanted those treats. Sometimes he's barely paying attention. He's like, meh. He's like, I, I had lunch not that long ago. I'm good. <laughs> he'll he'll yeah. put in minimum effort. Yeah, minimum. C70 says the exploded graphic reminds me of the Raiders of the Lock, a Lost Ark wall, and mm. I think there's some homages to that game in the sound. So yeah, quite possibly. Ah, yes. It's pretty amazing what those original programmers did with the oh, resources yeah. they had. Oh yeah. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Drop that bomb. Boom. Boom. don't like that. That's really hard to time. It's actually not, but I just... You just go... When it's against the left-hand side, you, you fall with it. it. No, true. Oops. Ah! Don't know what Scared. the number is yet. One, zero, zero, one, zero. Hey. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Looks scary. The far side is really cool too. There's so many small details. And the electricity. Yeah. Always electricity. Is always good. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Down, it's down. Stop. No, it's down. <laughs> Where to go, you mean? Yeah. Go back. I like how it holds the projectile in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, you can see it just before it shoots. It's good for timing. Alone. Whatever things on the ground, they're so high up in the air. They're so tall. It's very scary. <sighs> That's one way. This. I hate this. What am I going to do? Uh, 
that, that, that. You actually don't need to follow it. You can get to the other side pretty fast. Like the middle ones. So after that bottom one goes, it yeah. goes bottom, and then you can kind of go jump, 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 all the way to the other side pretty quickly, I think. I mean, Through the up, middle ones, I yeah. I think I tried jumping up that high, and I couldn't. Let's oh, you can't? Again. Yeah, there. Ah, so yeah. much easier. Yeah. Thank you. That's the extra life. Yeah. I'll take that right now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Another one. No. They're like, no. What's up? Oh, you can't go up. No, I think it blocks it. It looks at it. Oh, this one's in interesting. Mm -hmm. Have to duck. Have to duck. Eventually. <sighs> All right, then we prime it, we push it, and pull the trigger. Boom! Well, that's a fast way out. Huh. I think so. I think you. Yep. Excellent. Don't need to go back up there again, I don't think. No. I'm scared. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't see where it is. Rodrigo says the sound design pleases my ears. <laughs> it's very, it's sparse but good. Like things make noise, but not like constant noise. More, more lives, please. More lives. <laughs> Full of life, which is good. Meow. Okay. You kind of have to follow it. There. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Slippery. Not again. <laughs> Go back and get more life. <laughs> no. Not doing that again. You're almost at the end, right? Yep, it's just up there. Okay. I have three. Which so is that's good. good. <laughs> I have a chance to actually try against the boss. Okay. So deep breath, deep breath, stretch out the hands. Okay, there was a a part at the top left and I and I was you're frozen when you first go in though mm. which is the problem so oh, I think I need to go jump over him okay and then press the button oh my god you can't touch him oh my god he's so quick oh, get him the last time in the middle oh. yeah oh my god to earth Let's go. 471. How'd I do? 
he made it to Yay. the island. Well done! Well done. Hooray! Cute, cute, cute. And that was pretty quick, I think. <gasps> Number one! Yay! Charles Wynn was 387. Pretty significant number. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Hooray! Oh, there's Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you still have two days. It's within, it, it's within um, easily. Yeah. <laughs> I made I some mistakes, it. but not too bad in terms of speed. I don't know if I'll make it to the end, so you can I'll give it try. at least one shot. Upon upon a bear. Bear. These games are just so gorgeous. It's so much fun. Which way do I go first? Uh, to the right. Okay. Yeah, turn that off. Yeah. I'm gonna go up the ladder. <laughs> no hesitating. No more for me. That took a few hours. Okay. Oh, no, go push the button. I did. Oh. Oh, I thought there was an explosion. Uh, no. no, something falls through. Oh, yes. Okay, that's the other thing. Dan says, I can never finish these types of games. It's it's hard. Like, you have to be really good about not dying in specific spots. Just push to the right when you're up above. Um, because it's really on this one, it's lives. Like, just not dying. Um, I mean, I I went through it pretty quick because I, I, I just know a lot of oh, I put this to protect it. Um, I know a lot of VHZC's kind of puzzles and what to do in them, mm -hmm. like the timing of them. Like he does, he uses this type a lot, um, and he uses the um, the poles that you have to go in between a lot as well. Thing Jeff, they go back and forth and you jump over. So just with playing though his types of games so much, some of them like the thing I had the hardest time with, I think, was obviously the boss, which is actually not hard. It's just very hectic and fast, and you have no time to think. And is the huge fire pattern on the different levels. That's what killed me the most. Oh, the fire pattern is yeah. is definitely weird. Because you have to memorize like eight things, or at least like oh my god, three or four, so you can. But you have to also memorize the ones where you have to jump onto and which ones to avoid, and the timing. It's just so hard. Most of the screens are not so bad, and luckily. There's always a couple that are a little bit more little challenging. challenging. Yeah. And luckily, his mazes are not really mazes. They're, ah. they're sometimes all the way to the top and then just fall off. There you go. And s but sometimes there's two paths. Uh, one that you might miss something on, usually. This one's fairly linear. Okay, this is a nice, easy fire one. Just all I like the alternating ones. Me too. He uses this type a lot too. Which is not too bad. These get me. Oh, they get me every time. I don't like them. So when it hits the wall, that's when you hit press right. And don't stop pressing right. I know, it's horrible. Yeah. Oof. So he doesn't go up to the top ones. There you go. So once you get to the top, you're set. He's timed it so if, yeah. you, if you're not careful. And VH says he's really good with negative space. Unless there's a secret passageway down there. But as far as I know, there's no you can't get any extra time in this game. Sometimes he has little bonuses or there's extra time, but 
It might be secrets. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> it, it, it scared me when you did it. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. oh, I thought I could jump the whole... Yay. This one I don't like. So this one, you want to jump when it hits the wall. Jump? Yeah, because you have to land on the other side. Because it only goes up. Oh, oh no. I find this one so hard. I don't know. Something it is hard. Oh, oh so close. Oh, come on. I'm going to die right here. Oh. Ugh. You need to make to that extra lives part. Get all your lives back. Meh. Come up. Hi, cuddles. Where is the extra lives part? Uh, not till level two. Oh. <laughs> That's no fun. No, it's not. And I think it's past that difficult fire part, too. Wait, where am I going back to? Yeah, yeah, you're going right. Going the right way. <gasps> oh my god, within a pixel. Oh my god. Sorry, that was scary. That was scary. Yes. Phew, Chelsea Dining Houses. I say phew as well. Cross over to the yes, other right. side. Hi. And get transported to level two. Do I? Oh, oh no! What? Oh, oh no. no! That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Meh. Good stuff. Good try, though. That was good. Yep. It's fun I feel game. like I could finish it, but uh, with enough practice. With yeah. enough practice, but yeah. I just saw you finish complete it, so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to keep repeating it. Yeah. So that's pretty fun. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for tonight. I think so. Uh, let's go back. Let's see what we have on the horizon. On the horizon for a zero page. Um. So we do, we're going to do the next part, the next uh, round two of this, which is Uzi the Goose Slime Quest and mm -hmm. Raptor. Raptor's a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, so is Uzi the Goose Slime Quest, similar things, yeah. except it's, um, oh, I, like I believe Uzi it's the 2D Goo. and you move around a maze. I like, love, no I love it. You I like love that, that one? game. Yeah, okay. that's a good game. I don't think I've completed that game. I don't think we have that one. Large. It is long. Yeah. yeah. Three, is it the one with three levels? One of them we completed. Remember. I can't remember. Yeah, one of them we did. Yeah. Um, and then we have a 2600 day. I might do a Friday this Friday. Mm. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about uh, at all our movie marathon. Oh, that well, we did. Yeah, it's not on done yet. Saturday. We did we part another, one of we it. We did part one. Yeah. Uh, it is the um, Safty Brothers. Safty Brothers, who are very well known for Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. So we watched half of their films, the first half yep it's a, a big... lot of student films in there yeah yeah uh couldn't find a lot of them yeah because they just don't want to put them up i guess they're yeah. terrible um or maybe they just don't want to yeah nobody wants to host them or put them on dvd or pay for them but uh i bought an import triple dvd set from france mm. um to get a bunch of their shorts and two features mm -hmm. um and then we watched finished it off with a documentary about a basketball player Mm. Um, what was the name of the? It was Lenny Clark? Was it? Lenny Cook. 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 Yeah. Or Clark. I can't. V Cook. And it was very not the, into the, basketball, but the yeah. The documentary was interesting. In there's the person they picked to do the documentary on. Yeah. The person was like the number one rated draft pick 
or what what well, number one high school basketball player yes in, in the in u.s the, yeah and then he went up against kobe bryant kobe bryant i think in a basketball game like two different yeah high schools and they he lost Not, against it wasn't high schools but it was related to like some kind of camp that he camp. was at yeah then he dropped to number three yeah and then he took like a year off <laughs> And he did get drafted yeah. into the NBA when he was trying to. Yeah. And it just went downhill from there. It was just so hard to watch, but <laughs> it was really good. Anyway, neither yeah. of us are big basketball fans, but it was a very good documentary. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, like I read a review about them before watching... That film? The, the, the marathon. Yeah. And one reviewer, or maybe it was a video we watched... Saying they make the same movie over and over again. And they kind of do. They do. It's the <laughs> same. It's not the same premise. It's the same. Feel and style of theme film. Yeah. Of somebody has a terrible life and they make it worse. Well, <laughs> no, it's. They're all character studies. So there's not much of a story. It's just focused Super highly on one person characters. and their life and the stresses in their li life. Like. They don't do themselves any favors no, in their life. They no. make almost the most worst decisions at all times yeah almost the worst they could be worse but they're really bad decisions yeah and you know it just escalates and escalates yeah and uh yeah i uh, and um i can see like the only movie i'd seen before the marathon was uncut gems with adam sandler yeah i loved it yeah like absolutely astounding film yeah it's so claustrophobic and like hard to watch in hard a lot of ways. to watch yeah because it's it's filled with anxiety <laughs> just the whole way through 100 percent pegged at 100 percent anxiety the oh, whole way yeah through. this character like like we said just makes all the wrong decisions yeah they could kind of get out of what they're in pretty but much then at they any just time. continually make bad decisions <laughs> yes yeah. yeah and every film we watched in the first part was that yeah, but to a not not entirely, not entirely, not entirely, not not the mostly. same as Uncut Gems as far as far as the level of anxiety. And you can see them refining this premise as each film progresses. Yeah. like oh, that's a bit more anxiety, a yeah. bit more anxiety. Uh, not the documentary because that's a different. It's thing. a different type of thing. Um, but yeah. uh, Lenny and the Kids was yep. is very close to the anxiety as yeah. as it gets further on to uncut gems yeah um so there's still two more features before uncut gems yeah so to watch yeah that'll be very interesting yeah yeah anyway yeah so it's what we did watching on that on next, next saturday <laughs> yeah. watch yeah. the second half of that. second half of it yeah yeah um yeah so lots of fun darcy was there to watch it because mm -hmm. he just stayed from stuck around and from the friday that. where he was on mm -hmm. uh so yeah, we'll be also we'll be playing twenty six hundred games coming up. There was a um, a Lynx game that was just released as well. Might do a Lynx day instead. Don't know. Might do an, another After Dark because I do want to get the Pilot ID card before they run out. And you have to play your, your way through all the first round oh that's right of planets yeah yeah just over halfway so yeah. far i think yeah it's a challenging game it's good though it's yeah. very good yeah yeah and of course load runner oh load runner we're up to level 35 it's a lot of levels oh i'll take they're fun though the rest of the year probably yeah bit yeah. by bit chipping away we'll, at we'll, it we'll slowly get through them all and some 7800 games yeah. as well so anyway we'll see what happens that's pretty good yep uh, so thanks for watching yeah. us try and get some high scores in After Dark. Thanks Me not to, so much, but you. <laughs> eh, we both try. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to Dan for hosting this every year. Absolutely, this, yeah. Uh, high score contest. Always fun. Yes. Gives you an excuse to go back and play the games yes. again and really try them at a high level. Yeah. And do your best. Uh, thanks, Chelsea Donny Mao. Yes, uh, thank hopefully... you for, for treating the cats, too. Oh, they love you. Yes. Uh, for doing that. <laughs> and uh, everybody, if you've still got two days to play these games yes. as well, now that you've seen us Get a us score play. up there, yeah. Yeah, um, you can just get a score on the board on yeah. um, mm -hmm. Elevator Action. doesn't matter if you have 10 points. Yeah. You will get on the board. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Chelsea Donny Mao, Dan ABC, Rendered Ghost, Charles Wheeland. Um... Well, VVG Double Down, 
Madame Masquerain. Who is asking about this CRT. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Real old dude. There they are. There's, where's the formats? Question about it. Yeah. Where are the formats? Oh, AV, S, VHS, and CVI. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Real old dude. Oh, thank you. He said, good stream. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, rendered ghost probably said your name Beer before Pocock. Beer Pocock. nostalgic 26 uh, who else was watching way back yeah. Atari 800 XL rules oh, Cuban and that's the top Excellent. of the chat yes thanks for watching we'll be back don't know we're not, uh, not maybe doing... Friday I mean maybe Friday yeah. see what I'm doing see yeah. how it all plays out yeah um, but yeah, I don't know if Darcy's going to come here early on Friday or, or just he's just for come Saturday. on Saturday. He might yeah. just come on Saturday we'll this see. time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but keep watching. I usually post in Facebook or yeah. um, just watch on Twitch as well. Mm. I put the name of the show or the time of the show up. Um, yeah. Or on the Atari Age forums. Mm. And you'll see the shows when we plan them. But uh, yeah, season break we're on right now. Show yeah. dates will be spread. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching and treating the cats. And yes. we will see you soon. Next time. Yes. Okay. Bye, Absolutely. everyone. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. You be awesome, Render Ghost. That's right. You be awesome. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.